Thanks, Devon. Let me start by showing you a policy automation interview in the Oracle Cloud. Instead of reading static policy advice, the customer can answer a few questions about their circumstances. So here I'm answering about which insurance product I'm interested in. And then they're shown the policy advice tailored to their situation. So here I can see my best product is singles cover, the premium I need to pay, and I can generate a policy summary that I can print out and take home with me. Next I'll show you some of the new features in February 2014. The first I'd like to show you is our new data and entity collects, which give the policy order greater author greater freedom in how they can lay out these controls on screen. Um, so I'll give you a bit of a demo of this using our simple benefits sample project. So here in the interview editor I can easily drag and drop controls on screens and I can edit question text and things like that. If I go to an entity screen I can select the screen orientation and how many of that entity is collected. And then I can debug my interview and you can see here in the debugger it's a much more compact way to collect the data. Also for date controls I now have the new calendar input control. So back in my interview editor I can select calendar and that allows a customer to select the date from a calendar pop-up. Or I can use the new multi-input date control which allows the um, user to collect dates or enter a dates in a drop down kind of form. And the order of these date fields is controlled pretty easily through this styles dialog formatting and you can choose here your input and output formats. In other changes we've made it easier for policy experts to navigate their rule models. So for this demonstration um, I can use our DMV document guide sample. So here within a Word document I can select the attribute I'm interested in, click go to and see all the places that attribute is used. I can jump to where it's used even if that's in another document and I can even see which screens it's used on. It even works for uh, testing documents. So here I'll jump into one of our test cases. I can change one of the outcomes here so that it fails and then when I debug that you can see it's failed. I can jump straight to that attribute in the OPM debugger which gives me the full range of debugging options so I can see exactly how that decision was reached and navigate through the explanation. So jumping back to the slides, um, we've also made some improvements to our existing agent desktop capabilities. You can now run two agent desktop interviews simultaneously and save detail about the case into incident threads as a log of the events that occurred. So here in my example I'll go through an application for student aid. It knows some information about me because I'm a logged in contact and it'll ask me a few questions about myself. family size, income and so forth. I'll ask about my educational history, etc. And at the end it should give me some advice. Here we are. And ask me if I want to apply for student aid, which I do. So now it should save my details into right now and return the incident ID and my reference number. An agent can then go into that contact, see the incident and the notes created through OPA. So just refreshing it here, if I jump into the incident, we should be able to see the text that OPA has inserted into that incident. There we go. You can also see the same interview in Agent Desktop or even multiple interviews now if you like in this release. 
and uh, you'll see here the wording is tailored to the agent so the agent can talk in the first person asking the person in the customer information about themselves um, so they can just sort of read it out to the customer. So to show you what this would look like in policy modeling I'll just jump back into OPM. I've set my mapping settings to be for only logged in customer portal users and each attribute is mapped to the relevant right now fields and can be displayed on screen as we saw at the end of the interview. So all the demonstrations I've been showing you today have been samples that come with OPM and um, the key one for this release, we've got new samples for financial services, media and entertainment, and higher education. Um, you just open them through Oracle Policy Modeling. In the open example, you can search by um, particular industry or features you're interested in. I'll just um, jump in, I might show you the higher education one which is aimed at students trying to find the most appropriate course and campus for their needs. So you can see the screens here, we've made some changes to the styling, so we've got higher education branding, I can answer a few questions about myself, and OPM comes back with some recommendations. And you can see how all of this was done through the sample. And finally, we've now made it easier for non-English policy modelers with a range of new languages supported, both in native rule modeling and in translated UI and function reference. Of course, you can still deploy the interview in any language by adding a translation layer to your screen. Before I hand back to Davin, I'll just show you some further contacts. Um, the main one here is the OPA forum. If you have any questions or you're not sure where to go, um, jump on there. And um, just to make you aware that if you want to stay in touch with news, training events, make sure you visit our Twitter feed from time to time. You don't need a Twitter account to see what's new with OPA. Back to you, Davin.